The movie adaptation of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, 2010, faced the dual challenges of meeting high expectations and successfully bringing a cherished literary world to life on screen. Rick Reardon, the mastermind behind the Percy Jackson universe, became a central figure in conversations about the film. His reluctance towards the script and choice not to watch the entire movie underscored the nuanced relationship between the author's vision and how it's translated cinematically. Despite initial reservations, Reardon pragmatically recognized the financial advantages and acknowledged the film's promotional impact on his books, adding complexity to discussions about adaptations. Uma Thurman's preparation for her role as Medusa demonstrated a commitment to authenticity that extended beyond the typical actor's training regimen. Handling live snakes, guided by a specialist, provided Thurman with a visceral connection to her character. This unique approach illuminated the lengths actors sometimes go to embody the fantastical elements of their roles. Logan Lerman's intensive sword training infused Percy Jackson's character with a palpable physical presence. His dedication to mastering combat skills not only showcased Lerman's commitment, but also highlighted the significance of physicality in depicting a demigod. The seamless blend of physical training and character immersion emerged as a noteworthy element in the film's production, enhancing the audience's ability to suspend disbelief. Director Chris Columbus, with his successful track record in fantasy adaptations, carried a substantial responsibility in bringing Percy Jackson to life. His experience with the Harry Potter franchise positioned him as a seasoned hand in navigating the intricacies of adapting beloved literary works. Columbus's approach, aimed at honoring the source material while adapting it for the screen, reflected a delicate balance between fidelity and creative interpretation. The inclusion of an Easter egg in the Lotus Casino scene showcased a playful side to the film's production. Slot machines displaying the names of the production crew, including Columbus and screenwriter Craig Titley, added a touch of whimsy for attentive viewers. Such hidden gems contribute to the rewatchability of films, offering fans an opportunity to discover new details with each viewing. Jake Abel's casting journey from auditioning for Percy Jackson to ultimately portraying Luke Castellan provides insight into the intricate casting decisions. The ability of filmmakers to recognize the nuanced fit of an actor to a particular character speaks to the depth of their understanding of the source material. Abel's successful transition within the casting process reinforced the importance of flexibility in adapting literary works to the screen. Behind the scenes, the challenges faced during the production of Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief contributed to the ongoing dialogue about book-to-film adaptations. The mixed critical reception prompted discussions about the delicate nature of translating intricate narratives, rich with fan expectations, to a visual medium. The film's legacy lies not just in its box office numbers, but in its role as a catalyst for conversations about fidelity, interpretation, and the collaborative art of filmmaking. The Hollywood Adaptation of Percy Jackson and the Olympians The Lightning Thief faced criticism for its mixed reviews, acknowledging commendable performances, visuals, and action scenes, yet falling short of capturing Rick Reardon's source material due to a generic script. Despite grossing $294 million against a $95 million budget, it paled in comparison to the immense success of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1, which earned over $977 million worldwide in the same year. Craig, the writer of the movie, also participated in Hollywood Trenches, initially as a production assistant. He co-crafted the first live-action Scooby-Doo and contributed to hits like Cheaper by the Dozen. In the realm of television, Craig collaborated with George Lucas on Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and assumed roles as a writer-producer on The Cape and an executive producer-writer on Marvel's Agents of S-H-I-E-L-D. His ongoing projects, including adaptations of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and Arabian Nights. As the film's impact reverberated through popular culture, the subsequent decision to adapt the Percy Jackson series into a Disney Plus series marked a significant development. 
The series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, 2023, provided an opportunity for a fresh take on the narrative, reflecting the cyclical nature of adaptation and reinvention within the entertainment industry.